And uh, thanks so much for joining me today. I have a fun card to show you. Um, this is one of those stamp sets that I know some people absolutely love it, and others are like, gnomes, what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think it's a really cute set and I love that there is oh goodness I just got the live stream video posted and I see that I'm all sorts of crazily crooked on here so I'm gonna try to straighten this screen a little bit hopefully it's not too too terrible all right um so yeah so people either love the gnomes or they think they're ridiculous and they don't love them and it's okay either way um I love them. I think they're really cute. And I love that it's got a coordinating set of designer series paper or a coordinating pack of designer series paper to go with it, which makes for super, super easy uh, cards made with this cute stamp set. So actually all the little, the, you know, the two little gnomes in the little house. Yes, they are in the stamp set, but I actually cut them from designer series paper. And so that makes it really easy. And, you know, I'm like, I've always said, I'm kind of a lazy stamper. So, <laughs> so uh, um, I like that. I can make a cute card and there's like no work to do it. So I thought I'd show you how I made this card. We're going to make a slightly different version of it today um, just because I picked a different couple of gnomes that we're going to use in a different little mushroom house. And I'm also going to show you a little bit more about the die set and how you can make little gnomes without, you know, once you run out of the designer paper, you can still make cute little gnomes with it. So, all right. So you like them too, Karen. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thanks for hopping in today, Brie, as well. I see that you're here. So, all right, so this is the stamp set. Um, again, it's just a cute little set. Uh, the images are a little smaller on the front cover than they actually are in real life, um, but it's got some cute sentiments with it. If you like to color, this is a great set for coloring. Um, or like I said, you can be lazy like me and just cut them from the designer paper and nobody knows the difference. They're like, oh my gosh, you can really color. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not just that good. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, y'all. You all know that I can't color with a darn. So, hey, Heather and Jean, thanks for hopping in. All right, so that is the stamp set. And then there are coordinating dies. And I guess I should leave the stamp set over here so I can show you. These little uh, gnome images will cut out each of the stamps or each of the stamped images in here. And then we've got the little mushroom image, the house image that will cut out the mushroom in the stamp set. And then there are some accessory pieces. These little things that look kind of like gumdrops are in fact the mushroom tops. And then there are the little mushroom stems. And then there's grass in here. And then this, this, and this, which I thought was an apron initially. I'm like, why in the world would we put an apron on a gnome? And then and I cut it out and realized that it's the hat. <laughs> so sometimes it takes me a moment to figure these die sets out. Um, but that's what we're going to play with a little bit later is um, the, the cute little um, pieces that you can die cut and put together with your gnomes or to create a little gnome. So, hey, Bonnie, thanks for hopping in. Uh, cartoon about gnomes. I have no idea, Ruthann. I don't remember that. I'm old, and so it maybe if it's something newer, I definitely wouldn't remember it. So, um, hey, Charlotte, glad you're here. Thanks for joining from uh, Canada. I see, and Carol's here, and Karen, and Pam. So, thanks so much. You just ordered the gnome set. It's a cute one. You're going to love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, whoop, and let me set the dies over here so I don't mix up where I have everything. Uh, a couple other things that I used on this is I used the All That dies, and it's obviously just this little oval one that I used to cut out the sentiment. This, again, is one of those sets. It coordinates with a stamp set in the catalog called He's All That, I think is the name of the stamp set. Um, but it's a good general set of dies. Even if you don't get the stamp set, get the dies because you're going to love the little banners and the sentiment pieces in it. And I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but the banner or the um, sentiment pieces actually it embosses around the edge of most of the little sentiment die cuts, which is really pretty. All right. Pretty on a manly set, I guess. I don't know if I'm supposed to say it's pretty or not. So um, you're on the fence about the bundle. Yeah, you just get it. You won't be sad. <laughs> All right. Uh, one other thing that I used on here is one of the stitched rectangle dies. And it was, in fact, the third largest one that I used to cut out the little um, designer series paper background on this card. So let me set that aside. Oh, and the um, uh, timber, I was calling it, totally, I was going to say time-worn timber. That is not right. It's just the timber 3D embossing folder um, that I used on the background, which, you know, again, hopefully you can see that on here. So great gnome books back in the 80s. Oh, see, I don't know. I guess I don't remember those. I don't know. My, I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm sure that there were, but there are lots of cute things. So, all right. Um, so the background with the little hearts on it is actually, the designer series paper that I used on this card is actually from the Butterfly Kisses 6x6 designer series paper. And then the little gnome and the house images all come from the storybook uh, gnomes designer series paper in the current mini. So this paper is actually from the annual catalog. All right, let me set that aside before I spill something all over it. And let's get going on the card. So again, like I said, I'm making a little different version. It's the same, it's going to be all the same um, cardstock cuts and all that sort of thing. It's just a little different version of it. Um, I used Calypso Coral, obviously, for my card base here. And again, my original card base was a top fold, which is the four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half top fold card. I'm making this one as a side fold. Again, you can choose whichever um, you prefer for card bases. Um, so I just want to show you that you can make it either way. So this is Calypso Coral and this is eight and a half by uh, five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Adding a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue to the card front. And this is a piece of Calypso Coral cardstock that I have already uh, embossed and I'm trying to get it in the light so you can see it already embossed to the Timber 3D embossed folder. And we're gonna adhere that to the card front. And I know that I've explained it a few times in my videos, but um, I usually, when I'm doing an entire embossed card front like that, I usually will cut a second piece of cardstock and adhere it to the card front, just like I showed you there, just because I'm trying to cram an embossing folder with a folded piece of card stock in it and getting everything straight and whatever, I don't have much luck with that. So I tend to um, emboss a piece that's the size of the card front, stick it on the card front, and then nobody knows that you did that except you. Um, and then it's straight and not all crazy looking. So that's how I usually do it. All right. I used, again, a totally not at all norm-related paper. This is the Awash with Beauty, Awash in Beauty. Uh, I knew I was going to forget the name of it. Uh, Wash in Beauty. I don't know why I can't remember that. Designer Series paper from the annual catalog, and this is one of the balmy blue pieces from it. And I have a piece of balmy blue cardstock that I have cut to about three and an eighth by four and a half so that it will fit um, nicely, should fit nicely together if I've cut everything correctly. We're going to use a little stamp and seal um, to stick the two pieces together. Hopefully y'all are enjoying your Friday. It's a pretty day here. A little hot and sticky, but you know, it's summertime, so I guess we can't complain too much about that. Uh, no rain or anything crazy, so. All right, just sticking the two of those together with a little stamp and seal, and then we're gonna put a little more stamp and seal on the back of the balmy blue cardstock panel. And then we're gonna stick it to the card front. And I'll try to get it centered here, hopefully. Um, what I've tried to do is I wanted it to slid a little bit to the left-hand side of the card front, and then I'm just trying to get it um, straight along the edge and straight along the top and the bottom and somewhat even top and bottom. And again, nobody's going to be measuring it, so it's okay. So um, you forget about the, all that dies. It's, it's a really good die set. Like I said, it's one of those kind of like that hippo set that we had a while ago. <laughs> that uh, I never really used the stamp set, but I loved the dies because they were awesome. All right, so now comes the fun part. You get to pick, um, this is a, would, would be a 12 by 12 sheet if I hadn't hacked it up and cut a bunch of the gnomes out of it already, um, but it's got little gnomes all over it. You can use it as the background on something if you want to. Hey, Vicki Sue, thanks for hopping in. Or you can do what I'm gonna do with it and uh, chop out the little gnome images with the coordinating dies from the gnome dies. So that, that is what's awesome. I love it when Stampin' Up! coordinates all this stuff for us. It makes it so easy. So I'm gonna take the two little gnome dies and we're gonna cut out these two little gnomes. So I'm gonna be off screen for a second, running this through the die cutting machine. And I don't know if you all celebrated the fourth or not. Um, hopefully you had a good week or a good weekend, long weekend. Um, Hopefully your pets all survived the uh, crazy fireworks shows everywhere. Thankfully our dog is not, she's afraid of many things, but she does not seem to be affected, thankfully, by the uh, fireworks, so. That's always a good thing, so uh, she doesn't seem to get too riled up and, you know, she's able to sleep and, you know, just do her normal thing on uh, the holidays where they're shooting off fireworks. All right, so we've got our two little gnomes cut out. And then the next piece of designer series paper is also from that storybook gnomes pack. And I'm just gonna pick one of the random little houses on here, which I've decided I'm gonna take this one. I wanted it kind of to coordinate with the Calypso coral on the background. Um, and the die from the gnome dies fits perfectly around this cute little house too. So, oh, thanks Rosie, I appreciate that. So, gonna do a little die cutting here off screen. 
and hopefully get it cut straight. And if not, there are lots of other little houses I can cut. All right. There we go. So we've got our little house and uh, our little gnomes all cut and um, expertly colored by not me, <laughs> but expertly colored, super easy. So next thing we need to do is just add a little bit of stamp and seal to the um, back of the little house. And we're just gonna stick that here on the card front. And then we're gonna take, the only reason I put her in the back and him in the front, I think these are him and her gnomes. I don't even know if they have him and her gnomes or what they are, so, <laughs> but um, I, uh, the only reason that I put her in the back and him in the front is because she's taller and he's smaller. And I don't know, to me that was looked a little better than having the taller gnome in the front and the little one hiding in, behind, in the back. Otherwise I would have probably normally put the girl in the front, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> she's taller, so we had to put the little shrimpy guy in the front. All right, and then we're gonna take some Stampin' Dimensionals to put the little, little uh, boy gnome or man gnome, whatever they are. I guess they're supposed to be old men, I'm not sure. So, um, Put this little gnome in the front. So once I pick my dimensional backs off and get them off of my fingers, and we'll just kind of tuck him down here. Uh, again, trying to get his feet so that they're somewhat straight across the bottom. And we're really almost done with this card. <laughs> I told you it was gonna be super, super easy. So uh, tiny little triangle die is for the one with a hole in it. I actually didn't use that, but I think that it's supposed to be a little eye. That's what I'm thinking it's for, is that you can, um, I think you, you know, this is the beard on it, and then you put the hat on it, whoops, this hat on it, and then I think you can put like little eyes, little beady eyes poking out around the nose. Um, so that is what I believe it is for. You could use it for anything else you want to, but I think it was intended to be an eye. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> All right, hopefully that helps. Okay, so I've got Balmy Blue cardstock and um, one of the sentiments from the Kindest Gnome stamp set and Versamark ink, and we're gonna do a little heat embossing, so it is gonna get a little loud for a second. Um, just make sure that we get this good and inky with the Versamark. Stamp it, and hopefully I didn't rock that too much. I think it looks okay. We'll see what it looks like once I get the embossing powder on it. And I have got, uh, whoop, and I forgot, I forgot to use my little uh, embossing buddy. Oh well, all right. Um, so I've got white embossing powder from the Basics embossing powders. We're gonna sprinkle that over the top. And we'll do a little bit more second time. So it looks like we got a pretty decent image on here. We'll uh, do a little heat embossing. Uh, triangle looks like it's part of the hat. I don't think that it is actually because, let me show you up close, because this actually is the cutting part on it. It's just the little circle that's the cutting part. This is like a tab basically to make it easier for you to pick it up. So I don't think that it's part of the hat, but Certainly you can play with it and maybe you'll find that it is. And I could be totally wrong on it, but I think it's supposed to be eyes. All right, so the Stampin' Up! Heat Tool has got two settings on it. There's a level one setting for drying. So if you're doing something like watercoloring or using an ink that takes a little longer to dry and you wanna speed up the process a little bit, you can use the level one setting. Level two setting is for heat embossing and it does take a second for the heat tool to get uh, warmed up enough to actually do the heat embossing. So that's why I'm yakking away <laughs> as I'm letting the heat tool blow off into the corner over here. Um, so I think hopefully we're good here and I'm gonna turn it towards my embossed image or my image that I wanna emboss, I should say. And once it starts to turn kind of that bright white and shiny, then we know that it's um, done cooking and you don't wanna overheat your embossing powder because you can in fact burn it and it turns brown and yucky. Um, and nobody wants a brown and yucky embossed <laughs> image. And then a little tab for the hat to create a, a tab with the gnome. Uh, a little tab is for the hat to create a, a are you saying a tag with, out of the gnome? That definitely could be, Judy. I didn't think about that. I was, I was like you trying to figure out what in the world do you do with that little thing? And I thought it was eyes, but you're, it makes more sense that it would be a tag. I bet that's what it is. See, I have all these smart people watching with me. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna grab the uh, little oval die from the All That Dies, and I'm just gonna take this again off screen for a second, and uh, I will run it through the embossing machine, or the uh, die cutting machine over here. And hopefully get it cut somewhat straight. And there we go, we've got our sentiment cut out and we're gonna just stick that on with a couple Stampin' Dimensionals. 
or my little half stamp of dimensionals. As you know, I chop mine in half because I'm cheap, frugal, whatever you want to call me. And I like the way that they fit on a lot of things better than the minis um, and the full size ones. So, all right, I'm gonna stick this over here uh, next to my little old guy, sort of half on, half off. Um, and then the last thing I'm gonna to add to the card front is a couple of these fine sparkle adhesive backed gems. And I'm trying to decide which color we should use. I'm thinking, I think we'll go with the pale papaya again. Originally I was gonna use um, the Calypso Coral, but I don't think they'll show up well enough. So we're sticking with pale papaya. We will go with that. And just stick on a couple of those. And that's it for the card front. Like I said, it's super, super simple. <laughs> and I think it's a fun, they're such fun little gnomes. So, all right, on the inside of the card, I also kept it pretty simple. So I've got a piece of basic white cardstock, and then I just took a little trimmed off piece of the coordinating designer series paper from the Awash in Beauty uh, designer series paper pack that I had used on the outside of the card, and we're just gonna stick it on the inside of the card. Uh, the Storybook Gnomes paper, I looked at and thought about using that, um, but it's kind of very wintry themed. A lot of it is, it's got snowflakes and things on it, which will be cute, I think, for winter, but since it's kind of the middle of the summer, I wasn't sure that I was ready to make winter cards yet. So I was trying to think of, or trying to come up with something that was a little summerier, more summery, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that was what I came up with, was the balmy blue paper matched the balmy blue in the, whoop, and there goes the uh, cap to my paper snips. <laughs> so hopefully the dog won't get it before I pick it up. So, um, but yep. Uh, so I just wanted something that had balmy blue in it and that pack of paper, thank goodness, does. And then we're just gonna stick this on the inside of the card. And that's it for the inside. So super simple. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna flip it over here so that I hopefully I won't smash and try to be a little gentle, try not to smash the embossing on the card front. But that's it for the card front. Let me grab my original one and uh, show you what we did on the original. So again, it's the same card, same design, um, just a little different in the colors. So. I thought they were both kind of cute. So let me show you quickly uh, how you put the little gnomes together if you don't have the designer series paper or if you just want to make little cute gnomes. <laughs> so um, I did the cutting ahead of time, but uh, so I used this die, which again, I thought was the apron, but it is not. It is in fact a hat. And I cut a piece of balmy blue cardstock with that. And I took this little die, which is the, the little guy's beard, and die cut that out of basic white. And then the strange little shoes and pants looking thing, um, I cut that from Pacific Point. Pacific, yeah, Pacific Point. And then the little nose die, which there are two of these dies in here, the, the little kind of ovally ones. Little nose die I cut from Petal Pink. So we've got that. And then we just kind of can stick the things together. <laughs> and they can kind of go together a little bit, however you want. Um, the pants, obviously, you want on the bottom. And I'm going to use liquid glue. We're just going to add a little, little glob of liquid glue on there. And then I'm just going to position the beard so that it's on here. Whoop, I put down the liquid glue too low, too low. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Shove it back up there. I'm um, going to put on his little beard like that so we can see his little shoes and pants down underneath it so he's not a completely um, no no dress gnome <laughs> and then i've got the little hat here and we're just going to stick that on the one nice thing and maybe you can see it better on the die is there are little lines here and here and they they emboss on here and that actually shows you where your hat should land on your little gnome so they line up perfectly together. So that gives you a, a clue as to where you should put your adhesive so you don't do what I just did and have adhesive stuck in a spot where you don't want it. So you can make Smurfs. I know that was kind of what I was thinking. Only I didn't make the skin blue on it, but that was what I was definitely thinking of when I picked the colors that <laughs> I was using that. And I had these colors on the table um, because that's what I was using on my card. But definitely very Smurfish looking. All right. Um, so this has a little stitched look on it um, on the hat. And again, you're just gonna take it and line it up here. And it is gonna cover up part of the nose and that's okay. Um, Cause it's supposed to look like he's got a big droopy hat on. And then we're gonna take, I think we'll put a stamp and dimensional on for the nose. And again, that's just the little oval die cut. And then again, there you can see in here with the embossed line, that's where you can see it on the die here as well. So that's where you put the little oval for the nose. And that's it 
for the gnomes. <laughs> and then they're way, way cute. So again, they're really quick and easy to cut out and really quick and easy to put together. Um, so you can definitely play around with it, do all sorts of colors. So again, when you run out of the pretty designer paper, that makes it super easy because all you have to do is cut them out. You can still cut out the little gnomes and decorate up your cards and use the sentiments and all the cute things from the stamp set as well. So there you go. <laughs> so that's it for today. Um, and again, yes, thank you. I can't read, was it Karen? Some, whoever pointed out the, um, the little triangle for the tag, I, yes, I am sure that you are right. And I would guess if I probably laid these together like a smart person would have done, yes, they fit perfectly together. So yes, you are correct on that. And I was totally wrong with the eyes. <laughs> So, so yeah, it, sometimes it takes me a while. Like I said, I thought this was an apron initially. So, yep, that definitely fits together perfectly. So you can die cut it and then turn this into a little hanging tag and hang it on something. So there you go. That's it. <laughs> yep, yep. So you're all right. So thanks so much for joining today. And uh, thanks for putting up with me, yakking and carrying on. And um, I appreciate you being here. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I will plan to be live on my Facebook page around 2 o'clock Eastern time next week, Tuesday. And then back here live on YouTube around 2 o'clock Eastern time next week, Friday. Have a great weekend and we will chat soon.